Alright guys, it is that time of the week once again and we are back for another one of our classic footballing reactions. Now, if you've been watching the reaction series so far, you'll know that I'm a real sucker for a good set piece specialist. And who better to go ahead and react to than the brilliant Janinho. Now, I have to admit, I'm not really seen all too much throughout his career. I know that he was the absolute free kick specialist. I think scored 77 free kicks or something outrageous like that. One of, if not the best, free kick takers of all time. I think at most, though, I've only seen maybe two of the free kicks he scored throughout his career, so I'm very much looking forward to jumping into this one and seeing what the technique was like and just how good at set pieces he actually was. So, as always, if you're going to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do get any other suggestions for players that you'd like to see me reacting to in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and check out what Janinho was all about. So this video here is his top 13 free kicks. I mean, already off the bat. It's amazing how he hits it, the technique on it. Because it's just like an absolute arrow, isn't it? Completely deceives the keeper who thinks he's going the other way. Fred plays for Leon, took the free kick himself. He is one of the deadliest exponents of the free kick in the world. It is incredible. I wonder of all the free kicks that he scored, how many times he just left the goalkeeper, just rooted to his spot, having completely deceived them. Oh my god, this is going to be outrageous. He's done just 37! Oh my god, that angle, you see how many times the ball changes directions about three times within that move. It starts out straight, goes this way, that way. It will be Janinho eventually. Some Brazilian magic from Janinho and Leon lead by one goal to nil. It, it's a fantastic effort. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm really left speechless by all this. That's right in the top bins, but it's incredible how he never overdoes it with the sort of trajectory of the ball and the way it spins. It goes so straight. <laughs> I can't think of anyone else who does it quite like him, to be honest. I mean, I've seen some other fantastic free kick takers, you know, Ronaldo back in the day, Messi towards his later years, Ronaldinho could definitely hit a free kick as well, but the technique for this is, like, freakishly good. I'm trying to look there how he hits it, but oh my god, right in the bottom corner from that sort of range with the ball in your way, everyone packed into the box, the goalkeeper in the position that he's in and the advantage that he already has. Oh. Hit like an arrow into the top corner. I'm not going to lie, I'm always going to be a sucker for a good free kick. I could, I, I could sit here happily and just watch compilations of free kick goals all day. Off both posts. As an opposition player, if you've given away a free kick on like the edge of your box and you know that he's on the opposition team, you know that you're just screwed. I think you'd rather give away a penalty with how deadly these are. It's like a laser. The accuracy is like freakishly pinpoint. And the power, and it's that lack of like backspin that gets me every time. <laughs> Could the keeper have done better there? Maybe. Good free kick nonetheless. That's not as in the corner there. Keeper may might have been able to push that one away. But I think when you've scored as many as he has, I mean, this is outrageous distance we're talking here. 
It just fly, it doesn't lose any power or it doesn't dip at all. It just continues like an arrow, just straight, doesn't it? But it's not like the ball's always rising. He just gets it to a level of trajectory and just continues like that. It's, I've got no idea how he does this. Because I think he has used a different technique, to be fair, for a few of these different free kicks. He's hit it with a different part of his foot, is what I've noticed. It's not as if it's sort of a formulaic thing where it's the same part of his foot, the same sort of distances or anything like that. He can definitely switch it up. I think when you hit it like that as well, it's probably harder to be like harsh on the keeper, really. When you hit it that sort of truly and powerfully, it doesn't even need to always be in the top bins, but I mean, that one right there is. I think that's one of his best, to be honest. A little bit closer in, to be fair, which is why it probably can be a little bit more accurate, but... That is just pinpoint. They work to get the angle on that and then... I think this is one of the most god... The one of the times that I've been the most sort of gobsmacked. And we've reacted to some of the best players to have ever played the game, but... A specialist like this in just one area of the game is just absolutely fascinating. I mean, that right there is top bins, isn't it? Oh my god, I mean as a goalkeeper at this point you just have to pray I think. If he's hitting the target, it's going in, isn't it? But guys, there we have it. That will now wrap it up for today's video. Very much enjoyed reacting to that one. If there are any other sort of specialists, either in free kicks or different areas that you'd like to see me reacting to, make sure to let me know about them in the comments down below. What for you was your personal favourite free kick scored by Janino or any other free kick throughout time as well? I would be interested to know. I've always been a sucker for quite like the... Ronaldo free kick against Portsmouth and the Messi free kick against Liverpool in the Champions League. Those have been two that have always stood out to me, but I mean, the the compilation that we've just seen right there is absolutely unbelievable. The technique of how he hit them, I think what was most sort of freakish about it all was the consistency of the long range free kicks. Like, you know, a top player might be able to hit one or two of them throughout their career, but the fact that there was just so many and he scored 77 throughout his career is absolutely ridiculous but that will wrap it up for today's video guys as always if you did go to enjoy make sure to leave a like and do get your suggestions in the comments down below for any other classic footballers that you'd like to see me reacting to we've already got a whole host of them on the channel so far so make sure to go back and check out all of them as well but apart from that guys thank you very much for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next one next week